Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 74, the show where only half of everything I say is true. You be the judge. Okay, we are so doomed. Safana is proficient in detecting illusions. A hundred percent. Why did they do that? There aren't even any illusions to detect in this game, are there? What does detecting illusions even do? I always thought it just meant that you could, like, see through mirror images, or if a mage summoned phantoms or something, you know, they wouldn't affect you, but for real? I don't even think they have those in this one. Well, in this particular part of Baldur's Gate, uh, the Baldur's Gate series. Baldur's Gate 1. You get, the, you get the point. Anyway, proficient in detecting illusions. Really? Also proficient in, uh, picking locks. No, not picking locks, picking pockets. Picking pockets! We have a 5 in fine traps and a 20 in open locks. We're so doomed! Where is Imowen? Oh, we're never gonna get her back on our team, are we? Oh well, I suppose it just happens that way sometimes. You'll notice I'm skidding about the edge of the map, mainly due to the fact that there are huge amounts of spider traps, tassel, and just about everything else nasty. Um... Not much of a chance of us actually confronting any enemy without using any spells, so there's probably going to be a good deal of resting against my, uh, against my, um, you know, I don't like to rest all the time, but there's just no other way we're going to be able to do it. As you can see here, sleep spell knocks down 1D hit monsters. We're just going to kill them so that they don't wake up and try and kill us later. Not really worth the EXP, but it's definitely worth, uh, not having the headache later. So yeah, a word to those, if I haven't already said it, to people who uh, want to play the game seriously and um, not screw up, and, well, more like screw themselves over, do not boot your entire party midway through the game and switch over to an entirely new one. And also, do not forget to like take all of their valuable equipment and, um, and uh, utilize it, like antidotes and other things that I could have used. But... That would just be Chaotic Neutral at its finest, friends, and, um, pay no attention. I enjoy making the game harder for myself than it needs to be. Don't ask why. I don't know. I'm sure all of you love to do that, uh, with games that you really like. Uh, you know, who doesn't like to, t to take their favorite game and then crank up the... D well, people who like a challenge, anyway, take their favorite game and crank up the difficulty. Uh, because it, it almost creates a new game, a new adventure. Um, what are these? I don't know what they are, but they're going to get horrified, because I don't think a sleep spell really works on wolves. Okay, and that did not work at all. They're dread wolves, probably resistant to horrify. So, we're going to run. Run, run, run. Actually, we need to find a way to fight them, because otherwise they're just going to be chasing us through the entire map. Uh, I don't really like to use the blizzard, blizzard spell, since it's so valuable, but I really don't see another way out of this. Other than summoning monsters, but I kind of want to keep that. I want to keep the uh, summoning monster. A few charges left in the summon monster. Um, wand just for later in the game. And are you serious? We don't need more monsters fighting us. You see the tassel coming from the north. We're going to play Ring Around the Rosie with uh, Safana here. Oh gosh, now we're going to play Ring Around the Rosie with Chesney. We're basically going to have to take turns until. Uh, well, until I figure out something to do. Safana can have fun assassinating the sleeping ones. Oh gosh, that is if the dread wolves don't attack her. Alright, we're going to drop a fireball, I'd say about here. Maybe if we time it right, Safana can get out of the way. Yes! Flawless execution! That is the way to use a fireball spell. Bait the enemy and then uh, get your allies out of the way at the last second. You should be able to hit everyone. Takes a little practice because you have to eyeball how large of the radius you think the fireball spell is going to be, but you'll get good at it eventually. Oh man, these dread bulls just don't want to die. This is, I think, when the game gets fun. When you're fighting a difficult battle, um, not because of stats really, because I hate I hate it when I'm looking at a fight and thinking, "Wow, the only way I can do better at this is if I level up." I like having options. I like being able to strategize and really pull out the stops. So that's what we're doing in battles like these. Um, 
kind of breaking the Infinity Engine a little bit by uh, cheesing the enemies by running around in circles, but, you know, you do what you have to. Zafana's almost dead, but the wolf turned his attention towards Chesney. We don't have any directly offensive spells right now. Uh, but we do have a Wand of Magic Missile, I think, which might just have the power to uh, finish this guy off. Uh, however, a couple hits from him, and uh, we might uh, we might be dead, so we're going to try and keep our distance. Aha! Nope. And that's a good game on the Dread Wolves. Wow. That was kind of tough. Alright, well, let's get a quick save. No enemies are about? No, they aren't. Quick save! What? There's a Tassoy somewhere. Oh. No! Stay away from Safana. I swear, if you kill her, I will never forgive you. That must have been that Tassoy that got morale failure. Okay. Now it's a good game. Quick save. Alright, well... That's about good as we're going to get there. I think it's time to take a rest. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if we can find something else cool around here. To quench our thirst for adventure. Actually, I think I remember what's up here. And we're going to want to switch, switch some of our equipment around. Okay, Safana is going to want to equip the Wand of Magic Missiles. Um, I'm just checking here, I just realized some of these wands are only usable by mages or bards. And strangely enough, the Wand of Fear is usable by clerics. It's kind of neat. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that's, that's what we're going to want here. Cannot, magic does not function with this spear, except within the magical weapons and wands. Hmm. No, I don't think we want that. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh, gosh! Let's continue back! What would you have me do? Is it coming? Is it coming to get us? Oh, gosh, there it is. Okay. Go away! What is it? Is it a... It's a... Oh, it's just a... I don't know what spider it is, but it's just a low-level spider. Back, you fiend! Okay, that's enough of that. Alright, you know, I think I want to give Chesney a couple more magic missile spells. Um, Because we don't need... Oh, that's protection from petrification. We don't even need that anymore. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of identification or charm person, though. No. Well, we just haven't been using a lot. We need more spells! You can never have enough... Thank goodness we have knock since Safana won't be picking anything. Hurry up. Okay, well, all right, all right. is there anything else down there? I'm just worried there's gonna be like a web trap or something. Oh gosh, more spiders! All right, we're gonna run back a little ways and drop one of these right about there, and then we're gonna run like scared little forest elves. Ah ha ha! Explosion! Upon your doom! Let's see if we can put them to sleep. Alright, easy pickings now. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Now we're gonna have to rest again to get our spells back. Alright, well, that's where we're gonna end the episode here, friends. Um, when we pick up next, we'll be uh, exploring more of Cloakwood. Woohoo! Until then, friends!